Hello. Welcome back to the experience. So today it's going to be an um, a update and just, you know, different plans that I have and things that I'm working out. So um, here we go. Um, first of all, I want to say that I did get accepted into beauty school. Yay, me. Um, so starting March 7th, I'll be the one of the newest students at Jean Madeline Aveda Institute in Philly. And um, I'm just really thankful and really honored about all the support that I'm getting um, because with me getting the education um, of all the beauty products and, you know, different techniques for the makeup and hair, nails. Um, it really is honestly just one step closer to what I plan on be, what I plan on doing for the rest of my life, which is basically running a beauty empire. Um, starting really honestly from the inside and working the way out. Um, so. You know, we're going to have consultants. They're going to come in and, you know, just wine and dine and really just get to know the person. And, you know, of course, you know, a stylist and everything. And it really just, you know, would be awesome to kind of really just help people. Um, because honestly, I think that's what my gift is. I, um, I'm definitely a listener. For those of you that really know me, um, I, I'm down to listen. Even if I don't want to, honestly, um, a lot of times I do, but it's just something like ingrained in me that I have to be the one to listen at least. Um, with all that said, I also... Um, got transferred um, from being the assistant manager in kids wear to being the Mac uh, sales associate um, at Nordstrom. So I'm really ecstatic about that. Um, it's really been crazy. Um, so I'm going to be getting the hands-on experience as well as the educational experience. And I'm just really thrilled. Um, everyone that you know, that has really, like, backed me since then, like, um, like the beginning of this whole transformation. I really thank you guys. Um, thank you guys for all the, the love. Um, I definitely am appreciative and grateful for it, even though many times I, I take it for granted, honestly. It really does show that, um, you know, it's all worth it because you're connected. Um, I don't know why that just sat down in my spirit so hard, but I'm worth it. That's why. Uh, okay, so... With that all being said, I did make this video um, to actually reach out to you guys and really just ask for some support right now um, financially. I have to raise um, some money to basically get my kit for school and I would like to just really have going without a worry or a care so I'm actually raising money just to see um, like this happen and to see God's plan flourish because when there's a will there is a way and I know for a fact that this is my destiny how do you like how I don't understand like how can certain people ask how I feel so strongly and I have to tell him honestly it's because I've seen him I've seen God do it before I basically um, 
came from a low end department job working in the stock room in the shoes department and I basically didn't I I didn't find myself being fulfilled. So I searched and I searched and I searched around to fi really figure out what it was that um, I was supposed to be doing. Long story short, um, I stumbled upon Nordstrom, like the current job that I have now. And I sat there and I looked through um, the website or whatever and I sat there and I applied for the shoe shine position because that's the only thing that I thought that I was worth having or like that I was worth being able to get. So I applied for the shoe shine position and I went in for the interview and I was so excited and ecstatic and um, you know I dressed up, of course, and I dress, you know, to the gods, as some people would say. <laughs> and I really put my heart and my soul into everything. You know, I made sure that I had my trench coat on and, you know, my shoes. Everything was pressed. And I went in there, and I went in there with confidence and a boldness that, honestly, I don't think I've ever had. And I went through the whole interview process or whatever, and they told me that they weren't going to hire me. You know, of course, I'm devastated, things like that. They told me to wait. Um, they had to finish some last-minute paperwork, and they'll be right back. So I sat there, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, God. Like, you know, I'm going to have to go back to this department store. I'm going to be so upset, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then they came in the room and told me that they weren't going to give me the job at the shoe shine bench because I was worth more. I deserved to be on the sales floor and what department that I wanted to work in. When I tell you that guy can do it, he I've seen him do it before. I know he can do it again. And that's really what I'm reaching out to you guys today for. Hopefully you guys agree and you go go fund me um you can find me on gofundme.com um backslash king sorry phoenix hb3 and um yeah so just let me know when you guys find everything, and um, I'll get back to you later, all right?